Hello guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started with this eyebrow tutorial. I'm just showing you guys my bare eyebrows to start. And the product that I'm still using to this day is the ABH um, Dip Brow Pomade. And this is in the shade Dark Brown. And I also use another um, ABH product, their brush. Just because it's super, super thin. Um, you're going to see why that's important. So I do brush my eyebrows upwards with a spoolie just to get them in the shape that I want them. And then what I'm doing is I'm kind of creating like little little brow hairs, like just using really light strokes. And this actually took me so many attempts just because I had to get the right amount of like lightness. Because then if you kind of press too hard, they do end up looking super harsh and thick. And then you kind of just see me doing that all throughout the end of the brow and on the bottom of it. Just kind of filling in the gaps where I don't have any brow hair. And then I do start going up towards the top and just kind of slowly working my way throughout the brow. And then um, I did get a little bit too harsh towards the end of the brow so I did brush it out. It does really help um, kind of lighten it up instead of making it super harsh. And then I did extend my eyebrow a little bit just because um, it ends a, um, my left side of the brow ends a little bit more abruptly than my right eyebrow. So that's why I do that. And now um, I am... I cannot see. Oh god. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of extending my brow again and then getting towards the front of it as well. And I do kind of like frown a little bit just to actually see where I'm actually drawing it. And I'm just kind of showing you guys the right side of my eyebrow as well because if not this video would be like two minutes long. But if you can see I'm just being really careful with where I'm placing um, each brow hair. Well each of my little fake brow hairs. And then I'm going towards the end. And then I am filling it up at the top. So when I'm filling in the bottom I'm going upwards. And then when I'm filling in the top of the brows I'm going downwards. I think it's kind of the same as like the microblading effect. Um, they kind of do it in all directions, so that's kind of what I was trying to mimic. And then this is how it looks. It's still pretty messy, so that's why I do clean it up with concealer. I mean, if you were more, um, you know, like precise with where you put the brow hairs, you wouldn't really need to do this, but I kind of just get it everywhere and then just kind of hope that I can just cover it up with concealer. And this is the CoverGirl um, True Balance Concealer. I do use lighter concealers when I'm not really going to be applying too much makeup, but because I was doing a makeup look, um, I used a thicker concealer. And then this is how much, um, this is how the brow looks, sorry. <laughs> and then I do clean up the top of the eyebrow with foundation. And I'm using that same flat brush that I used before. And this foundation that I'm using is ABH Stick Foundation. I just feel like cream foundations are a lot easier to use because they don't really dry out so quickly. Then I go in with a dark brown um, brow powder by ABH as well. And I'm slowly filling in throughout my brow just like any spots that I didn't really get before. And then I'm filling it in super lightly in the front. I use the darker powder in the ends and then the lighter powders in the front. And then here's the clear brow gel, also by ABH. I swear I'm not sponsored. <laughs> I just, I just tend to like their brow products better. And I'm using that to just set all of my brow hairs in place. And this is how it looks. And then I'm showing you guys both sides of my brows, um, just because I wanted you to see how they both ended up. <laughs> but that's pretty much it. And then we're just gonna go ahead and get started on the eyeshadow tutorial. Alright, so I am using the Violet Voss Bright Vibes palette for this look and I'm starting off using um, the dark purple shade and then just kind of like mapping out where I want my cut crease to go. I do put it a little bit in the crease and then slightly above just because I want to make sure that when I cut the crease um, this purple still shows. And then I'm going in with the pink shade and you're going to see me struggle a little bit. It was a little bit hard to um, really try to blend out this purple just because it was just on there. But I do eventually, you know, like get get through to it and start blending out um, the pink with the purple. And it's just, just kind of like a work in progress. You just kind of have to continue to add the shades um, until it can blend properly. Then I go in with that yellow shade. And this is a super, super bright yellow shade. 
and then you're going to kind of see that some of the yellow does get into the crease but don't worry we're going to reincorporate the purple later on I go into the two orange shades and I just kind of blend them together and I just start adding them right in between the purple and pink and then the yellow. So it's just going to go right in between and I'm using more of a fluffy brush for this just because it's going to add it, um, it's just going to incorporate a lot better. And then I'm going back in with that purple just to make sure that I'm getting it as pigmented as I can. I do cut the crease um, with the ABH primer and I actually did prime my lids with the ABH primer. And you're just going to see me cut the crease. I do do it slightly above my natural crease just so that it can actually show um, and also so that I don't get any transfer. And then I am going to um, set the lid with this pastel purple shade. This is actually Lolita by NYX and I do highly recommend this eyeshadow. It's so pretty. And then I did repeat underneath um, what I did on the crease. I just forgot to show it. And I'm actually using um, the ABH lip palette for the eyeliner. That's pretty much it. I just added my falsies. I really hope you guys love this look. I'm absolutely in love with it. So if you have any other questions, just go ahead and comment that down below. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I did post this on my Instagram and Twitter. Um, I will add those in my description as well. And I hope you guys have a good day. Alright, bye.